What's up guys, Corvus here and welcome to episode 262 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Battle series. On the previous episode we picked up two wins and one defeat, including getting swept by one of the opponents in one of the battles. So go check it out if you haven't seen it already. We are currently on 480 wins, 286 defeats, a 194 game differential. Let's hope to increase that today and let's go on away with battle number one. Okay guys, matchup number one. We lead with Azumarill versus the Chestnut. We're gonna go for a player rough. And that's a two hit KO. We'll go for another one. He gets a second layer of spikes, but we managed to take him out. So despite his advantage type-wise, actually we're pretty even type-wise. I was really worried about Leech Seed. That's why I didn't go Belly Drum. Hmm, a Meow Stick. Are you going to try and paralyze me? Let's go for a Belly Drum. You're going to yawn. I hate you. You just wasted my Belly Drum. Please don't have Protect. If Azumarill gets two kills, I'm fine with that. That's more than... Like, if you can go two for one in Baal, that's good ratio. No matter what Pokemon. Unless it's like your only good Pokemon you have. And it gets and you take out two of your opponent's weakest. So he's just gonna go for Psychic. We're gonna take him out with the waterfall and go to sleep. Which means Azumarill is going down next turn. Unless we he tries to set up next turn and I He may try and set up. Because I could one-shot him if he doesn't attack. We don't get the first turn wake up, unfortunately. We're just going to let ourselves go down to the EQ. And now I think we go for... We don't go for Wormadam because the fire move is so obvious that it's too obvious. We are going Wormadam. I changed my mind at the last second. Let's go for a Rock Blast. Gonna brave bird, in fact. Fair play. Um, I don't really have anything for this. I guess we'll go Gudra and hope that he doesn't hit me too hard on the physical side. Uh, we'll go for a T bolt. He has 254 base special defense, though. It's not like I'm gonna cut through that very easily. We need to hit him on the physical side, realistically. Yeah, that did no damage. Um, the only physical mon I have is Aegislash, which isn't going to take him out very easily. We're going to live that, get off a of Dragon Tail, swap him out into Chandelure. Right, we're going to go for a EQ here. We're going we're gonna to live the Fire Blast. That's amazing. That's also amazing, the fact that he didn't die to that. Hidden power grass, I'm assuming. And now we will go as elf because we know we outspeed. We'll go for a Psy Shock. Psy Shock can do a decent amount of haul, may even kill it. It's on 30%. Bayonet's gonna come in. This is very important. Is he? going to try and pursue me. It's a possibility. Oh, this is a really hard call. Going Yan Mega. He didn't have pursuit, I know that, but let's go for an air slash. Fine, no physical attacker. It's a two-hit KO, which is nice. We get a speed boost. So we can outspeed as long as he is not going for a prankster move. And the second air slash will take him out. Burn will take us down to 17%, however. 
Who are always going to come back out with Regenerator? Of course, I completely forgot about that. Air Slash does 25. That's fine. He's going to flinch, but we're going to go down to burn. Which is okay. We can go for Azelf now. We just have to hope his last Pokemon's slow. We're going to go for a Psy Shock. We do take out the hole. Okay, that's crucial. A Machamp. We can actually deal with that. This may not kill, but I think Aegis Slash is in a pretty good position to deal with Machamp. It's gonna sub. Didn't have enough left to go for the sub. We're gonna go for a dozen gleam for no real reason. And take out the Machamp and pick up a win in ball number one. So let's go on to ball number two, guys. Okay, guys, ball number two. We lead with Shiftry, and we're definitely switching out. We're going out into Tentacruel on the Sylveon. We have massive special defense on Tentacruel. We also have the Poison typing. It's going to go for a Shadow Ball. That doesn't do much. You did predict my switch, however, very well. We'll go for a Sludge Bomb. If he switches out, that's fine. Will have forced the switch. If he stays in, he's probably going to take about half. Maybe slightly more than half. Okay, slightly less than half. And he goes for a Calm Mind. We're going for a knockoff now. Because I don't want him to have those leftovers. They're a huge problem. Okay, Heliolisk is going to come in. Get rid of the damp rock, which is a nice thing to get rid of. Now Tauros can come in and kill, but I don't want to switch in on him. Tauros may actually outspeed. Now he likely has dry skin. We'll just go Sludge Bomb. Thunder is going to nearly kill us with a crit. Sludge Bomb is going to take him down to 35%, poison him. There's two turns left. Hyper voice kills, fair play. And we only need to live one more turn. Do we have anything that outspeeds? Definitely. No, we have no priority, so we're just gonna go for Taurus. We outspeed, we have a life orb. Right. We're going to go for Earthquake because it's only 100% accurate move. I would have changed that up if we had like strength as opposed to rock climb. Although strength doesn't get the sheer force boost, which is why we have rock climb. Gets rid of the confusion chance, I think it is. Why Dragalge? Why Dragalge? Why is that came in? It's weak to EQ. I mean Draco or Focus Blast. Focus Blast, good play. Actually, he knew he could live, so he was fine with sacking it off. Ooh, which one? I'm gonna go Espeon. I'm just gonna go for a Psy Shock. Take out the Dragalge. If the Sylveon comes in, we have Psy Shock, which will do quite a bit because his physical defense isn't as good as his special defense, I believe. Yeah, that's 49% damage. He does 67, 68% because of a crit. And we'll go for another Psy Shock, take out the Sylvia. We do have Magic Bounce, of course, in case anyone wants to try and paralyze me or whatever. Uh, we will just go for goes 120 gets cut in half to 60 so dozen gloom does more can giga drain all he wants that's fine espion goes down not the end of the world we will go for shift tree shift tree and we'll go for a what's he gonna do he's gonna hit hp fire at the worst do we outspeed we do let's sword stance Giga Draining, fair play. It's not going to do much. Now I have a plus two shiftry with knockoff. 
I mean, most of his Pokemon probably outspeed, including this Pidgeot. And this Pidgeot also has the problem where it's going to be a Mega Pidgeot, so I'm not going to do much to it. Let's go for Leaf Blade, goes up to 135 and gets cut in half to like 67.5. That's still more than Low Kick does. Knock Off does 65. Leaf Blade is technically our best move. Heat Wave is going to one-shot us. Critical hit. All these critical hits are really annoying. We'll go Latias. And we'll Mega Evolve and go for a Dragon Pulse. Or a Surf. Yeah, Surf does more. Heat Wave, not going to do much damage. Surf, not going to do much either. Hurricane is going to do quite a bit. We, we are going to get a crit, which is nice. He's going to roost, which sucks. He's going to roost again. I'm going to call mind on this next roost. Boosts both our physical, our special attack and special defense, which helps us resist his hurricanes. We kind of need him to miss a couple hurricanes here. He doesn't, and he gets the confusion, and because it's Pokemon Showdown, we are always going to hit ourselves with confusion. I don't know if I've ever missed hitting myself with confusion, it just always hits you. Oh, we don't even have, like, Toxic or anything like that. Terrible. Well, he can outstorm in here. That's a problem. It's going to U-turn out. He gets a critical hit again. We had two flying types left. I had nothing really. I had Rock Slide on Taurus, I believe. That was the only super effective move I had on his last two Pokemon. It's gonna get rid of my lefties. We will be able to take him out next turn. It's gonna super power, that's not gonna do much. I would have gone for acrobatics or something like that if I was him. If he had it, of course. You only should knock off in superpower. We're gonna go for a wish this turn, because we need to. We're gonna go for a U-turn, which is incredibly weird. And we're incredibly strange, sorry. And we're gonna go for a protect. We can't risk him killing me with a hurricane. Didn't actually go for a hurricane. We'll go for a moon blast now. It's gonna heal up. Which really sucks. We'll lower his special attack. Now that's a bonus. He's trying to get the burn, but we do have aromatherapy. He's gonna roost. We're gonna hit him again, lower his special attack even further. And assuming no crits, we should have this in the bag. He is healing more than we do each turn, however. It's just going to keep roosting. It's going to have no special attack left. Okay, now this is stall. Because he has to get a critical hit to win. So I don't know why he's just stalling his roost. We're going to wish. On the turn he hurricanes, of course. Now we're going to Moonblast. It's going to Heat Wave. And the Moonblast is going to take him out. So we'll pick up the win anyway. All of that stall was for naught. So we managed to pick up our second win of the episode in ball number two, guys. Let's go on to the final ball of the episode. Okay, guys. Crocodile versus Vivian. We should go for Bug Buzz. I'm going to sub. Good. Good, good, good. Very good. I was subbing in case he went for Stone Edge. I didn't know if he had it or not. Look at the boosts. That's not going to take out the sub. It's four times resisted. Hurricane would do more. So let's go for a Hurricane. Did any? Good switch. By my opponent then. Let's go for a Bug Buzz. That's also resisted. He gets his Patea Berry boost. HP, whatever, is going to take out my sub. 
And Hurricane did 36, Bug Buzz did more. Let's go for another Bug Buzz. Doesn't take it out. He's gonna nuzzle and paralyze me. Oh. Let's go for another Bug Buzz. Wow, that critted. What is with the critical hits today? Like seriously, it's been nothing but. Well, we're gonna go for a Golic, because he can't paralyze me. I'm going to Rock Polish. I mean, I know he had the special attack boost, but what? Okay. I was not expecting Grass Knot. What is with all of these critical hits? We do add speed. Shaman's going to come in. Good play. And we go down to Life Orb. Didn't even check if I had Life Orb. Apparently I did. This isn't going well, this battle. Few basic mistakes I've made here. Right, Jinx, I think we need... Crocodile's not... Crocodile's gonna take out Jinx. Um, we're actually gonna go for Drifblim, simply because he can pretty handily take out the Crocodile. With Willow. Kinda cripples him. Acrobatics takes out the Dedenne, thankfully. We're now at 360 speed, so we're outspeed every non-choice scarf in the game, basically, at this point. Apart from maybe... Right, here we have to go Willow. We missed the Willow and we're dead because of it. No, we're not. We just live. We'll go for another Willow. We're sacking off Driftblim to get a Willow Wisp off. That's what's happening here, but... It's going to go out in the Ursa Ring, which was a perfect play for his on his part. Let's go for a Acrobatics. He does have the Guts boost of course now. We'll just go, I think this battle is as good as gone. The miss or, no not the miss. What happened? No my opponent just did very well with the switches into Dedenne and things like that. Acrobatics almost takes out Scrafty for me. We'll go for another one. Take out the Scrafty. That was a very strange play on my opponent's part, if I do say so. Not sure when, why you went out into Scrafty. We're just going to go for an Acrobatics on the Ursa Ring. He doesn't take us out, quite surprisingly. Does he not have Guts? Does he have Quick Feet, really? Because we take out the Ursa Ring now. We can take it. The Ferrothorn is probably the biggest problem. Let's willow it. We get the burn off on the Ferrothorn. It can take us out with Power Whip, that's fine. But it's three on three. And I don't really have much for him, if we're being honest. I have HP Fire on Tangrowth. Didn't see that at first. Let's go for an HP Fire there. Because Klefki gets destroyed by Gyro Ball. He's going to T-Wave. Oh, that's so painful. T-Wave. Are you kidding me? We'll go for an LHP Fire. He's going to get some spikes up. Fair play to him. I think Jinx should outspeed Crocodile. It definitely outspeeds Shaman. Because I think it has base like 100 and something. 105. Uh, we will go for a Klefki switch. We can take the Seed Flare pretty well. We can now go for a Thunder Wave. Paralyze the Shaman. Earth Power comes through, takes us out. We should have went Magna Rise. Unfortunate. Let's go Jinx now. And we'll go straight for an Ice Beam. We do outspeed by one point, but he's paralyzed as well, so we outspeed by multiple points. I think Tangrowth can take out Crocodile in a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's 
especially because of Regenerator. We are paralyzed though, so we could get screwed over by three or four paralysis in a row, something like that. But Tangrowth is a physical wall, you have to remember that. Okay, Shaman, are you going to make a move? I know you're paralyzed, but surely you can make a move. Okay, that didn't do as much as I would have liked. That makes me think it won't one-shot the Crocodile either. I know Crocodile's not quite as bulky as Shaman Landform. Shaman Landform does have a hundreds across the board. We do outspeed unless he's choiced. He's not choiced, and we do one shot the Crocodile, so we're going to pick up three wins today, guys. Very close battles, I think. Much, much different to uh, yesterday, where we had lots of forfeits. Actually, yes, we had three full battles today, which is a rarity in this series, in fact. So, those three wins are going to take us to 483 wins, 286 defeats, or 197 game differential, but only three wins... And no defeats away in next episode from that 200 game differential I've been looking for. So hopefully we can make that. If you've enjoyed this full battle episode guys make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe as well. Tell me down in the comments below if you haven't enjoyed it for whatever reason. And from me Corvus thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.